Um, and Michael, I understand we have some people from the Marinwood uh, issue. Yes, um, Marinwood neighborhood. We have Bill McNichols and Stephen Nestle from Clean Up Marinwood Now and Renee Silviera from Silviera Ranches. Okay, um, it, it's nice to see you again. This is one of our long-standing uh, problems that we're trying to make progress on. Um, please try to hold your comments to three minutes. Um, Bill, are, are you going to go first? Why don't you promote Bill and, and let's hear from him. Wes, are you able to pronounce, are you, are you able to pr promote him? Yes, I'm working on that right now. I don't see him in the panel or the attendees right now. I see mind. Bill or Stephen. Well, let's move to Stephen then. Stephen, see if we can promote him and, and hear from him. Okay, Stephen, you've been promoted. I, I don't know if you can see me. Um, this is Stephen Nessel, and uh, it's good to see everybody uh, again. Um, as you know, we've been working uh, with the uh, Water Board uh, to get this issue resolved since before 2014. Actually, 2014 was when the RAP came down to uh, clean up uh, Marinwood. We've made some progress, um, but certainly not enough, not as fast as we'd like. Um, the reason why we wanted to speak today is we learned uh, that uh, there was going to be another public process uh, for the soil vapor cleanup at Marinwood Plaza. And this really is going to cause yet another delay uh, in the cleanup process. Uh, just to refresh uh, your memories and for uh, new board members, uh, this site has uh, was I think identified in the early 90s. It wasn't till till the 2000 uh, uh, until the enforcement actions came down. Finally, uh, we did get a, a wrap uh, 2014 and it's just been taking forever to get things moving forward we've had many public meetings the public understands that this is a lengthy process and for um, at this point um, to have another uh, lengthy uh, public uh, process to discuss the uh, uh, location of the soil vapor extractors just seems like, quite frankly, a, a, another tactic, a delaying tactic uh, by someone um, who doesn't want to resolve this quickly. This site <clears throat> is right next to the highway and right next to a truck weighing station. There's a lot of noise at this, this location and the residents uh, live with that um, in the neighborhood. And so the addition of soil vapors, uh, extractors, which would be running 24 hours a day, I understand, would really not add a lot of extra noise to, uh, to that site. And um, we urge the board to uh, move ahead with the cleanup as quickly as possible. In 2014, in the original wrap order, the uh, uh, the owners of this facility were to tear down the building so a full cleanup could occur. That has not occurred yet, and it just seems like everything that could delay this process has happened. And you know, frankly, we're just sick and tired of it. Um, people's health are are being compromised. We had a uh, a cancer hotspot close to this site. We don't know if it's related or not, but six people on one street develop cancer uh, within a short period of time. We don't know whether it's due to uh, uh, intrusion of soil vapors. We do know that um, uh, 
delay is 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 not good for the environment. It's not good for public health, and it's certainly not good for our community. So uh, we're here today just to remind you that uh, we uh, we we need this cleaned up right away. And please do everything within your power to um, make sure that this happens without further delay. I do think that you have a letter from um, our uh, supervisor's office, and this is actually referring to Ralph Lambert, who is now, I guess, uh, going into retirement. Um, congratulations, Ralph, if you're on the, uh, on the call. Um, we want to make sure that that doesn't add another delay. So um, really, we're, we're, we're pleading with the board for you to make sure uh, our community uh, uh, gets restored to the, the health that it, it once enjoyed. So that's, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Stephen. We have next. Um, Chair, I, don't, I do not see the other speakers in the audience. You don't see Bill or, or Renee? No. So, um, and I don't. I oh, see, I, I see Renee. I, do I see. see do you Renee. want me to promote, promote Renee? Renee? Morning, has, Renee. Has been promoted. Renee, you've been promoted. You can go ahead and unmute. You may have to unmute, yes. I have asked Renee to unmute. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Thank oh, you. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Renee Silvera. My family owns the Sanderfell Silvera Ranch, which is across the freeway from the Marinwood Plaza. Um, our property um, was one of the offsite um, locations affected by the Marinwood Plaza's um, contaminants. And it's been a very long um, journey. My mom passed in March, and I would have to say that we're very grateful to the board and to Ralph Lambert and the other staff for their continued oversight of the parties responsible for the contamination of our property. It's been a very long, long journey, uh, remediation, has begun uh, only time and more testing will determine how successful those measures are going to be. Uh, we so much appreciated the support of the neighborhood group um, during our journey. And uh, Steve, of course, is a, me a major member of that group. Um, but because I'm also a resident of Marinwood, I share the group's concern about this uh, soil vapor problem. And um, I would have to say that um, I agree totally with Steve that this, that the property owner has taken much too much time to address this problem. And I, I can't emphasize that you know, at a certain point, you know, testing is fine, but you need action, you need effective action. And I, as Steve pointed out, was under the impression that the vacant buildings, the derelict buildings at the Runwood Plaza Center were going to be demolished to enable more complete, thorough evacuate excavation of this uh, contaminated soils. And um, that seems now to have been backburnered. And, um, you know, the site is still, I believe, you know, a, a genesis point for these contaminants. Um, I'm not a scientist, but I think there's enough uh, to establish that there's still a lot going on underground. It's less than it was originally. I mean, some progress has been made, but I do believe the property owner has to more significantly address uh, this situation and once and for all really um, get serious about addressing the the plaza site itself thank you very much for um, giving me time to speak and i too wish ralph lambert 
a great, happy retirement. I appreciate, and my mom did too, all of his work. Thank you, Ms. Sabera, and thank you for the compliments to our staff. As, as the board knows, this is not an, a scheduled agenda item, so we can't talk about it sub substantively, but I just wanted to note, we do appreciate the presence of a neighborhood group like this. Um, your, your vigilance is important to us. We wish we had uh, similar groups everywhere where there's a problem. Uh, we understand our, our procedures are cumbersome. Uh, they're frustrating to us sometimes. Michael, I would ask that you, um, when the time is appropriate, inform uh, the members of, of uh, Clean Marin Wood and Renee, if she's not on that list, of what our staffing plans are to maintain continuity with Rouse retirement. Um, Thank you. Yes, we can do that. Um, we have one more speaker on this okay. uh, that I see in the audience we would need to promote. That's uh, Bill Nicholas. All right, Bill is here. Good morning, Bill's Bill. Been promoted. I think if you unmute, you can speak. And I can do my video. Okay, there I am. Uh, cool. I was in a doctor's appointment, the video doctor, so that's why I apologize for being late, because he was late. But anyhow, clean up uh, Marinwood Plaza now. Oversight committees, what I've been on, and I've been dealing with the bo uh, board and staffing since... But I go, we got involved in 2012 and then formed a committee. And I just follow up on what Renee and Steven said. And all I want to say is I was very disappointed to see that there's going to be a delay and we need another public survey on getting the plaza cleaned up when we already have put in over 400 past practice, over 400 signatures for people saying, let's get the place cleaned up and move forward. And here we are with another delay, which uh, the discharger and their agency said they'd have it done by the end of last month or into December. And yet we're looking for another thing to come out and do a survey. That's all my concern is. And I'm going, why are we doing another survey? I don't know. But if that's the politics going through it, We'll live with it and we'll go out and get you another 400 signatures or whatever it takes from the community because the community's tired of hearing about it. And uh, I'd like to see this thing get cleaned up and sold and developed as was proposed, what, a year and a half ago when uh, a developer wanted to buy it and uh, the discharger backed out at the last moment. So that's all I got to say. Everybody have a very Merry Christmas. Let's make next year. Let's get this place and get the job done. And I thank you. Thank you very much, Bill. Uh, um, Michael, are there any other comments, commenters for the public forum? Um, no, I, I do want to offer a, a clarification on the points that have been raised that um, uh, it's not a survey, it's a fact sheet explaining the work that will be done on the property. Alec, maybe you can give yeah. us just two minutes explanation as to what the what the requirement is. Yeah, yeah, I'm Alec Noggle, the chief of our toxics cl cleanup division. The requirement actually stems from our order that was adopted last year to do a public participation process. So it's something we've required. Um, it won't take long. Uh, these things are uh, usually involve a, do involve a fact sheet to the public, inviting comment on this. Um, this 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 is in case a new remedy, as you know, it was planned to be excavation some time ago, and in the last year, studies have been done to indicate that soil vapor extraction is a more likely um, um, a, a better remedy in this case. So, to pivot to that remedy. We have requested that this plan be submitted by January 6th, and a fact sheet would be following shortly thereafter uh, to invite public comment. That's the standard feature we do on all our cleanup sites when there's a new remedy. Thank you, Alec. 